What's up guys, Jason here from Pack the Track coming at you with a fletching video. Um, wanted to go over my setup and uh, how I fletch my arrows. Uh, it's a very long process, so I'm gonna only show you like one vein. It takes about 36 minutes per arrow um, due to the clamp time of the adhesive I'm using for the trad veins. They are, I'm using the Flex Bond, which was recommended through Three Rivers Archery. Um, for those of you who don't know what trad veins are, these are a trad main. Um, they are a very soft, uh, collapsible plastic. Um, apparently they hold the same characteristics as feathers, um, but you d can use them in inclement weather, um, which anybody that shoots traditional knows that inclement weather and feathers do not mix. It leads to inconsistencies in flight, um, which inconsistencies in flight can mean the basic toss up between having a kill shot or wounding a deer or missing a deer completely. And in my, in my mind, if I can take away that, that fear, um, it's just one less thing I have to worry about. And uh, it, it's something big in my mind and I wanted to try them to see how they work. Uh, so I'm doing six arrows with them. Um, I am running the Black Eagle instinct arrows um they are 400 spine 28 and a half inches 100 grain collar 200 grain tips um boning green tiger wraps um bow set up real quick i'm running the striker rk1 dipped in qu beautiful bow the guys at striker did a great job on this for me um, can't complain with it. It's very accurate, very consistent. Um, it is 50 pounds and 28 uh, inches. It's a uh, 60 overall length, but um, I went ahead and I did a bear shaft tune of the arrows, which is where I got the 28 and a half. Um, I actually tested it to about 28 and a quarter was perfect. I backed it off a quarter of an inch just because I knew I was adding wraps and fletching. Um, so I, I did back it off a quarter of an inch just because of that. I'm oh, sorry, not a quarter. Yeah, a quarter of an inch is what I backed it off. Um, so when I ordered the arrows, I got them at 28 and a half because when you add, when you add weight to the front end of your arrow, okay, it'll weaken the spine. When you add weight to the back of your arrow, it stiffens your spine. Um, so I did need to lengthen my arrow by a quarter of an inch when I knew I was going to be putting wraps and veins on. Um, so to the to what I'm doing here. Um, I'm using the Boning Pro Class Jig. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, it's plastic, it's whatever. Um, but I, 40 bucks for it. I've gone through, I wanna say probably five dozen arrows in it already. Um, doing them for friends, family, um, and nobody's had an issue with how I fletch them. And uh, they've turned out really nice. So I'm running a left helical with a left offset on these veins. So there's gonna be a lot of twist in them. Um, what I like to do is I like to get it set up in my clamp, make sure it's nice and even. Um, the nice part about this boning jig is it has these little tick marks all down it. So it allows me to line up my arrow every single time. And I like my arrow obviously at that third tick mark. Um, so what I will do is I will take my uh, flex bond, um, which is what I'm using for these trad veins. I will hold the clamp vertical, um, basically up and down. It's got this nice little trough in it. Um, it's actually a trough in the trad vein. And what I like to do is I like to um, squeeze it out. I like to run it right down the center of that trough. So I get a nice even coat. I look at the vein, you should see it shine the whole way down the trough. If you did it right, you won't see any uh, marks on. So then what you do is you take, um, you go ahead and turn this over a little. You take your, your clamp, you touch the back end first, get it on the magnet, lay it down, and press. I press it for about 10 seconds, and then I slowly let off. Now let's the clamp seat the whole way. Um, 
make sure you're doing it the right same way. That's why I touched the back of it back here. Um, being consistent is key when fletching arrows. Um, it'll keep you accurate. It'll keep you from having inaccurate feathers and stuff like that. So, um, little cap. That's it. Choice. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a long process, especially with this flex bond. Um, flex bond, like I said, was recommended by Three Rivers Archery when using trad mains, so I went ahead and bought it, but it's got about a six minute clamp time, which adds up to 36 minutes on a four flat. Um, so you're looking at about 40 minutes per arrow, um, which is obviously a very long time when you're thinking about it. Um, for six arrows, which I'm doing right now, it's gonna take me just under four hours to do. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it's a long time, but it, it's well worth it. it keeps me accurate um i always recommend you try and fletch your own arrows if you can it uh it gets you to know your equipment better um because you're taking more time with it if you can do it you can do it well um you know exactly what's going on with your arrow um you know the helical you know the offset um it just keeps you in a loop of what's going on because you don't always know what companies are doing. I mean, don't get me wrong, companies do, they, they try and police the customer as best as possible. But at the end of the day, when you're doing it yourself, it, it keeps you in the loop more. Um, and like I said, these bony and crow class jigs, I've never had an issue with it. Like I said, they're plastic, but 40 bucks, uh, that's all I paid for it. So it, in the long run, it saves me money because to buy these arrows, and then have somebody fletch me. I'm looking at about a hundred dollars per per six, I think. Hundred twenty dollars per six. Um, between them right now, I maybe have like eighty bucks spent. Um, because I've had the jig for two years now. Like I said, I've done five dozen arrows for it. Never had a problem with it. Best forty dollars I ever spent because it saved me probably a hundred to two hundred bucks already. Um, and I don't see it failing me anytime soon. So, but uh. But yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much the gist of it for this year. Um, you should see these arrows in action on a hunt here shortly. Hopefully, I can get lucky in the PA archery season, which it is right now. Um, but stay tuned and uh, shoot straight. Thank you, guys.